we are going to sanitize the aluminum in this experiment so first I want to do heat up some water which I'm going to need when first step is done for uh, precipitation of my product which is the nitro product will be I'm gonna transfer my three nitro acid to the reaction flask and this is the reaction flask the test tube is going to be and I need to use powder funnel when I'm gonna transfer the salad so touch that a little squeeze the flame balls and gently transfer one gram of the three nitro acid to the reaction flask Some may will be stuck in the flame wall, so what I can do is, since I'm gonna use 8% aqueous solution of hydrazine, which I need the two milliliter of that solution, I can use that solution to rinse involved so nothing gonna be remind so I'm not gonna lose any telling three nitro telic acid and I have another one ml that was first ml and this is the second ml now I'm rinsing my powder powder everything washed down to the reaction flask before adding my reaction solvent which is triethylene glycol I want to make sure dissolve the three nitro -tolic acid but before doing that we have to make sure we put the one oil and chip in Welding chip also in and then let dissolve or try natro acid. Looks like tri nitro acid dissolved. Now I'm gonna add three milliliter of triethylene glycol, which is going to be our solvent in this reaction. Now we are going to heat that reaction mixture in sand bath and we will put the thermometer also in. I'm gonna use digital thermometer for that. Now we're gonna apply the aspirator to reaction flask. The temperature is around 105 to remove the steam forming with the help of the vacuum so that way the temperature can go up to 215 that's what we want it's not the inside the solution we're just trying to remove the steam forming in the reaction As you see, color of the solution changing, temperature right now is increasing, which is 157, slightly increasing, and then it's gonna be jump actually soon. You can see that beautiful color, keep changing. Now 195, so I'm just gonna try 96, 196 I mean. It's now 21. So we're gonna try and keep around that temperature five minutes. Our well, reaction time is up, so now I'm gonna lift that up from the sand bed, let it cool down to 100 degrees Celsius, and then I'm gonna add my warm water or hot water to reaction flask. During that time, may I can do a little heat up my water. Because the temperature may get 
the low actually it's still good to me but since we're gonna wait for cooling down to reaction flask I can heat up during that waiting time too so you can do that too maybe you don't want to do heat at initial instead of waiting and then when you're waiting for the temperature to go down to room temperature for reaction mixture that time as I'm doing right now you can heat up your water the temperature is dropped to around 100 degrees Celsius so now I'm gonna add some hot water which is I need 15 ml with the transfer pipette with the cold water actually you can do around some top water with the top water you can do that too but we don't want to waste too much water that's why we are going to use the for stirring stirring rod. Let's put this cold water. I have some here so that it cooled down to room temperature. That's dipping, and then we're gonna add some more water in. After it's reached the room temp, we're gonna filter it. The reaction product is ready to filter it, so we're now gonna filter that up from first flask under the vacuum after cooling down in the water bath we did the filtration and that's the first reaction product now we're gonna figure out how much it's gonna be it's not dry but in the textbook it's saying it should be around uh, 0.7 grams something like that so we're gonna use the product for follow reaction first reaction product that's the amount we transferred first reaction product to the same reaction flask we used in first step and now we are adding 5 ml of sodium hydroxide we are going to dissolve that with the sodium hydroxide Rinsing up the wall of the tube if anything remains there. You have to make sure everything dissolves. We put back to same reaction flask the first reaction product and add 5 ml sodium hydroxide as you seeing it's now as you seeing right now it's a dark color so in the tube right now I have first reaction product and 5 ml sodium hydroxide now I'm gonna put that back to the clamp and we'll add the sodium hydro which is in your textbook it's saying do you use three grams of that so we're gonna add that to add that to reaction flask with the powder funnel of course and some stuck on the wall of the tube we can use some 
bike around 1 ml. I water. I add the water. And then let's gently slur that. Of course, we have boiling chip also in. And let's heat that up. When we are going to heat, you want to make sure keep stirring that too. So I'm just going to hold the clamp so I can do stir that up. As you see, it start to boiling. So we will do stir and boil that like five minutes. Time is up, so now I'm gonna add 2 ml of the acetic acid. So we add our acetic acid to reaction. So we add acetic acid, and now we're gonna cool it down in the ice bath, let it cool down, and then we're gonna, after that, filter it once it's reached the room temperature or colder than that. After water bath that's the product and now we're gonna filter that after vacuum filtration this is the product we had this is our luminol and now we're gonna use that for the light producing experiment we prepared our luminol and then from luminol we took some amount and prepared solution A which is a luminol with the sodium hydroxide and water and as a solution B we have the second solution which has 4 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide and potassium ferrocyanate with the water it's dilute and that's solution B and let's see if our experiment is successful we're gonna pour both at the same time to the beaker As you see, it's light produced and that means the luminol is formed and that's the reaction. For reaction, you can look at the textbook. You're gonna see reaction mechanism there with the electron transfer. We are seeing that color change. This is our product luminol.